course, I had my education. I, you know, I, I, I became a musician. I was an organist, and then I started playing the harpsichord very seriously, and uh, uh, went to Amsterdam for five years and studied with Gustav Leonhardt, and, and you know, all, all that kind of thing. And and then I had my job in Oslo at mm -hmm. the academy. And did you did you use the camera all this time when you were? Of studying? course, you know, I, I was a hobby photographer all the time. All the time, and sometimes less, sometimes more. But you know, it was always there, and there was always this Leica M2. And uh, with with the, with the 35, with the 50, 90, and 200, I even I I, I swapped my my 35 Summarone, which was you know the first thing, for a Summilux 35 back then mm. in the sea. It is. <laughs> Is it no. still with you this this, uh, this M2? Uh, no, no, uh, no. Because you know, I I I like too many others. You know, had this uh, gadget uh, acquiring syndrome, and mm. uh, and and you know, sometime in the in the early eighties, I got an M42 for very cheap money, well, a reasonable money, and that had a Summicron 50 and. And then, I, you know, I wanted to have a Sumicron 35 and the M2 was getting slightly scruffy. And uh, when all these years have passed, I, I, I wanted to get back to my my first Leica M2. OK, now um, I still haven't found it. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I dread to to think of what it might look now because someone might have uh, misused it yeah, but yes. I had the luck some years ago to find a Leica M2 with a serial number that was exactly 400 under my first one mm. my so first what was 10 uh, uh, 1087 for uh, 860 and eight. this is 460 <laughs> so this is really really like the same <laughs> It, it's all totally silly, but but you know that is you know I, I could do it, and uh, later on it uh, this camera also this camera came with a with a dual range Summicron 50, but hmm. of course the standard lens for an M2 is the 35 Summicron. Standard, right? Yes, and and that is of course something or you know. Summa don't for that matter. It's just as good, yeah, and yeah. less than half the price, of course. <laughs> and um, but uh, so M two has always been in my heart. Although I think the M six mm -hmm. was was an, the best M camera of all. I think that's my opinion. And uh, so, so I I I got an M six. Mm -hmm. In 1986, this is a very, very early camera. Yes, yes, yes. It's just... It still has the, 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 the metal ring. Can you see it? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, it still has a very low chassis number. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, one of the things that I wanted to, to do, since I had been stupid enough to sell my, my Chrome Sumilux, which was not a terribly good lens in any way. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, it, it was it was much much less than they had hoped. I think they they, they did improve it very much, but they Leica wanted to do a an aspherical. Aspherical, right? And so with my M6 and things like that, um, I. I talked, you know, a lot with my um, uh, with my Leica expert in Oslo, and he was a collector, mm -hmm. he was a spirit. And and they were we were talking about this lens, and I said, well, put me on the waiting list. I'm used to be on a waiting list. I was still waiting for a harpsichord from someone. Mm -hmm. that, that took 17 years. Anyway, so I, I, you know, he put me on the waiting list for this. Mm -hmm. And it took three and a half years, and then it came. And I think this was the second lens that ever came to Norway. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So, 
And then, yeah, how do you pay for that? Because it costs a fortune, of course. Yes, yes, yes. And is it, is it, is it still work? The oh, yeah. The light, the, the light meter is okay? Yes. That is the M6, you, you, it, it never, never wears out. Oh, hear that? Yeah. Yeah, the best, the, be <laughs> the best sound. So creamy. And, and this, this lens was actually designed for the M6. Yeah. Right? It was designed yeah. in the 19, 1980s. Mm -hmm. One, this one I got in 1993. Mm -hmm. I haven't had it since. Of course, I will never give this one away. Yeah, yeah. You already, already we, we already know how it, how it's yes. how it costs. Yes, I. <laughs> yeah, and this it, is not it, and this is not just about money. No, 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 no. This is far more because I. One, I could never, never, but never afford to buy one now, mm -hmm. right? And two, uh, it it would be sort of a little bit wrong, I think. I mean, I mean, I, I could, I don't, I wouldn't have the, the conscience to do that. It's you know, the world is totally off the hinges anyway. But I happen to have this lens now, and I've had it since the nineties, and and it is very much like. The other Cleno that I have, um, you you all know the the the, the Noctilux. Yeah. Right. You all know the Noctilux. It's yeah. great lens, yeah. and I I found this at my photo friend in Oslo who had this shop, mm -hmm. and and I ah you ah Uli, I hope you have you have a Noctilux. I I have a Noctilux. I've been long you know I've been looking for a Noctilux for years. Yes. Can I can I have a look at it? Yes, of course you can have a look at it. So I, I have a look at it and, and I turned it around and all of a sudden I saw this. Wow. And I said, Uli Jakob, you're not going to sell this one. No, I have to sell it. No, I have to sell it. <laughs> Uli Jakob, you are the, the most serious Leica collector I know. You even have a recorder. 250. Why? You should not sell this. You will, you will regret it for the rest of your life. <laughs> if I ask you a third time now, with this anniversary engraving, you know just as well as me that this is so rare. It will never really? come up in your lifetime. Yes, yes. I was like, oh, I don't know, you should buy that. Okay. I buy it. <laughs> so, I, I, it cost me back then 500 euros. 500 euros. Yeah, but, but you know, this was in 1985. Yeah, this like is, say, the, it, 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 it was in the different, different money. Yeah, 35 years ago. And inflation and everything and, and you know, all these inflated prices. So, so. but and, and no one could tell me the story behind the anniversary engraving. Really? No. Until I spoke to someone, uh, uh, Lars Netopil. He is, uh, when you come to, to Wetzlar next time, mm -hmm. we have to go and see him. Okay. He is just as important as the, the people up on the hill. Mm -hmm. He has this wonderful little store, and I, I don't know if he earns any money because these things are expensive. But everyone in the collector world knows about him. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Well, this lens was probably a total extra. I mean, you know the story about this 70 years uh, anniversary engravings. They had a whole series. They got the M4P yeah, with yeah. this thing, and and and, and the Sumicron 35, the El Marit 28." The Simicron 50, the, you know, all these lenses. Even the even the 75 had could you know you could have that with an engraving, fine. But no one talked about the Noctilux. So it, he said, it is either five of them, five, yes, or perhaps even only two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is really 
on the shelf of my photo dealer in Oslo, all by total coincidence. It had, you know, it, there was this journalist from southern Norway. He, he had, you know, he, he didn't need it. So it only came like this. Okay, it had it had a sunshade, but no filter, and and no case, just like that. And I, bah! and two months later, yeah. my friend called me and said, Ah, um, you know, um, um, uh, yeah, you regret having sold it, right? Yes. 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 I, I, I told you, Uli you know, can I, can I offer you a new one? He said, can I offer you a new Noctilus? <laughs> no. And I said, Uli Jakob, and this was just in the, time, in, in the days when the M6 was coming on the market. Then. Mm -hmm. I said, Uli Jakob, if you give me an M6, I said, no, oh, that's too expensive. No, that's too much for me. Uh, okay. We, I hope we will still remain good friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so this, I, is, this is this is really luck. I don't yeah, know how how it, how it can be uh, really. Yeah, but but that it was that rare, no one could have foreseen. Yeah, yeah. This is another thing which is very rare. If, if are you interested? Yes, yes. Very good. Now, <laughs> um, this is an M2. Again? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. M2. And, and you know how the, how the M2s are inside. This is the normal M2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, you open it. And, uh, well, this one has had a, a modification, but you know, it, it has this roll, right? Mm hmm now, uh, you all remember that now? Of course you do. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, this M2, look carefully. Mm -hmm. We open up. No. Uh, it has this. You see the, the three prong? Yeah, 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 I see, I see. This is like, so, like in the new ones. In this the is like the M4. Yes. Yeah. And there was a series of M2s that came out, but they were called M2R. M2R, yes. This, right, is, right. this has no clue on the engraving except mm -hmm. serial number. Yes. Now, this happens to be one, one of the less than a thousand of the last of the M2s. Wow. That has that has the, the quick load of the M4. And they are the most most exotic M2s that you can ever find. The, the 700 of them was ordered by the US military on a military contract. Uh, and the serial, the contract number was KS15-4. Mm -hmm. So 300 was on the market. And, and, and most of these cameras were, they were um, assigned for journalists going to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And of course, some of these cameras uh, went to Vietnam and they were banged up and, you know, whatever, and perished, whatever. But many of these cameras, well, I mean, there are not many anyway, came on the market all by themselves. And th this is one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it, it is like like a totally normal M2 and uh, it, it's wonderful and that's you know that they, they were usually equipped with the dual range mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it, it, it has it, it has a good interesting it, 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 interesting story it, of the of this camera I mean every home should have an M2 right um, <laughs> I haven't I haven't still I have M M3 but I I, yeah. I I already want want to M two. M three is wonderful. <laughs> yes, this. Uh, M three is wonderful, and 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 there's nothing like. I mean, this, this camera used to be chrome, mm -hmm. huh? and it was banged up and it was uncharming. And I sent it to uh, Yuxinye in mm -hmm. Bosk, and we had it uh, painted, and it was you know 
the, the chrome was stripped, so it was all done in the right way. So it, this is a wonderful fake. One fake? A wonderful fake black camera. I mean, I, I, oh, I, could, camera, yeah. I could never buy a black M3. Are you crazy? <laughs> These things cost 20,000 euros. Yes, yes. <laughs> but this lens, this lens is original. And this one is very rare too. This is 35 millimeters, right? That, that's a Sumicron, yeah. Uh -huh. It's a Canadian Sumicron. Mm -hmm. And uh, in black. And they, they are very rare. Yeah. And um, it, it had some optical problems, but I, I had it restored. I, you know, we just swapped it with another, with another lens inside. Mm -hmm. so and it's from, I, I can't. With the so Leica, it's no problem. No, then, I, I then can't sell because I, I still have the, the, the original lens, so in case someone insists, fine, and I can show it, no problem. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a wonderful thing. And the M3 is, of course, a super camera. There, there's nothing better in the Leica this, world. This is the, be the, best, the best camera, really yes. the best. Mm -hmm. but the best Leica. It's, yes. It's, uh, uh, but in practical terms, it's best with 50 millimeter lenses. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. Only, only with 50 millimeters. Yeah. So, which is fine, you know. I, I have a black semicolon for it. That's also a fake. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, but it's fine, and, yeah, and I, I love it. And I also had it modified to to do modern flash. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh yeah, this is. It's like new. Do you do you use the flash with the with the lighter? And, and only if I must. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, the, only if I must. I mean, uh, instead we have this, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you don't need the flash if you have yeah. one one point two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I, I you know I don't mind using flash, but I, I use then a studio flash, you know, with a, a huge softbox mm -hmm, or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's also interesting. 